For this video, we're going to look at two shapes designed by Vincent Broomhall for the Homer Lachlan China Company. We're going to start with Provincial from 1968, and then we will look at Bristol from 1970. So Provincial starts off as an exclusive, again for uh, J&H distributors as a grocery store premium. We'll look at this uh, dinner plate, which has the underglazed print in blue. And the marking, this one is Sheffield Provincial, made in USA. Very similar to the other Sheffield markings we've already seen from previous shapes. The hollowware was glazed in this dark blue, really nice dark blue matte finish that I've never seen in, uh, on any other Homer Lachlan product. And the lids are done in a contrasting white. The hollowware, of course, is not marked, only the dinner plates. And uh, we'll look at a printout from newspapers.com from 1971 showing the uh, promotion. This is from M Systems Food Stores. And we have the coffee pot, the casserole, the shakers, the teacup, the creamer, and the sugar. So those are the only pieces that were actually created for Provincial. The butter dish is picked up from Orbit. And the flatware is just a coupe-shaped coupe flatware that was already in production. So, Provincial is, is mainly a hollowware shape, as is Bristol. We're going to see in a minute. But uh, Provincial is a little more extensive than uh, Bristol. Bristol's pretty limited. We have a casserole that's done in uh, Harlequin turquoise. So this was made about the time that uh, reissue Harlequin was available in the late 1970s. There's a Provincial coffee pot in uh, turf green from Fiesta Ironstone. We also have one in brown. The same glaze that was used for Sheffield Amberstone and a lid done in gold. So all these colors would have been used with patterned uh, flatware, whether it be coupe flatware or uh, Cavalier rim flatware. Another turf green sugar bowl with lid and contrasting white. And we've got some yellow pieces that's done in an ingobe process. We talked a little bit about ingobe with the Vogue and Regency videos. One last thing about Provincial and that's the coffee pot you see here and this casserole with the underglazed blue decoration this comes from a line called Old Sturbridge I want to look at an advertisement real quick and uh, you see it here is pattern CV177 it's using Cavalier flatware we have a Brittany sugar, a Brittany creamer, a Brittany teacup and then Cavalier flatware we also have a Brittany gravy boat well, there wasn't a coffee pot and casserole in Brittany at the time. So they picked up provincial pieces and gave them the same decoration. Again, we'll look at this on the casserole. No marking on the hollowware. So this one is made up of five different shapes because the butter dish and came from Orbit and the shakers would have come from Jubilee. So you've got Jubilee, Orbit, Cavalier, Brittany, and provincial five different Homer Lachlan shapes creating one line of dinnerware. So that's enough of Provincial for now. We'll move on to Bristol, which comes from 1970. And Bristol is another hollowware shape. It's only got, let's see, it's got the coffee pot, the sugar, the creamer, and the teacup, and that's it. Everything else is going to be picked up from other lines. So we'll look at a comparison of these two because they are very similar. Let's put, there we go. So we've got Provincial on the left and Bristol on the right. Bristol has a little bit more, more curvature to it, has more of a bell-bottom look to it, which seems appropriate for the 1970s. Um, one of the more common lines is Montego, which is this golden glazed ware with this jet black or dark brown edge to it. And this line picks up the Fiesta Ironstone Jumbo Salad and gives it this treatment. The dinner plate, we'll look at it real quick because it has a back stamp. Christina Collection. This is not a very good marking. But it has a British look to it with the animals on the side and then Montego underneath of it. So it uses the Bristol Coffee Pot. Again, you'll see this uh, jet spray at the bottom of it. And there's the sugar, the creamer, and the shakers come from Jubilee. And we also have a little coupe-shaped fruit cup here. 
And there's some decorated wear. Um, the plate here in the back, that's called Gold Capri. Uh, this one's called Flower Power. It uses Bristol Hollowware. And we see some Engobe pieces here in the uh, yellow and the avocado green, the butterscotch. We've seen these glazes before on Orbit and um, Vogue. And we'll look at a couple advertisements and that'll be it. So this first one comes from 1975. And then the top it uses Royal China patterns. But at the bottom, on the Homer Lachlan section, we see four patterns that use Bristol. Of Marigold, Needlepoint, and Dawn. This one comes from 1973. It's uh, from a Jewel Tea promotional catalog. And we have Royal China here on, the, on this side with Casablanca and Courier and Ives. Uh, at the bottom we have Jewel Tea, uh, Autumn Leaf which was uh, offered by Jolte well into the uh, 1970s, like 77 or 78, I'm not exactly sure when, but for a long time, made by Hall China. And at the top we have uh, some Bristol pieces. There's Somerset, and here we have Madrid on Dover, which we've already looked at uh, the Dover shape. And finally, this advertisement, the top shows Duet, and I wanted to show that one in particular because it's interesting how Homer Lachlan made use of the same uh, underglaze treatments, because here's Duet in this yellow and orange treatment on whiteware, and then here it is again in black and brown on uh, this gold speck glaze. Next to Duet is uh, Zinnia, which uses a yellow end gobe. By the way, this Duet uses uh, the gold green glaze end gobe which was also used on Regency for Sheffield Serenade. And here's the, uh, the gold green and gobe. And we'll compare that to the yellow real quick. Because it is an odd glaze. You can see why it's called green gold. Uh, the middle one has Vogue. I think we've already looked at that, but there's Pandora and Nordic. And the bottom has Bolero, Bolero which uses the brown and gobe Bristol. And then we have Riveria. R-I-V-E-R-I-A, Riveria, which uses black, and it has this underglaze uh, silkscreen design. But this is Cavalier, so and that's why you have a CV treatment number here. So one of the few times that uh, we see rim-shaped flatware instead of coupe, and we have a Cavalier bowl here with that pattern on it, and a matching creamer and black end gobe from Bristol. So I, I think that's it. Um, these are very fun shapes, very 70s shapes, very Brady Bunch shapes, groovy shapes. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, I kind of like them. So again, there's Provincial and Bristol. Next time we'll look at Hearthside and we'll be wrapping up um, Vincent Broomhall's time at Homer Lachlan.